what I have for you today is a group of things dropped off by a local picker. I'm not sure. I'm going to get all this in the picture. And so I'm going to go through that with you. Give you some tips that you can use on uh, on your picking adventures and and some items that uh, you may not have thought of uh, to buy and, and resell in your business or your hobby that uh, always do well for me and so we're going to go through this stuff uh, as quickly as we can and as accurately as we can and give you some some tips uh, here now this picker <coughs> is moving so uh, he's uh, cleaning out just a collection of, of smalls that he's picked up here and, and there over the last uh, season and the first thing I'm gonna talk about and I'm sure there's a dozen of them here or so and that is belt buckles uh, all kinds of uh, belt buckles uh, novelty advertising uh, promotion commemoration uh, just all kinds of belt buckles uh, non uh, precious metals uh, types uh, of course, you know, we do find some that are gold or gold filled or silver. The uh, vast majority of belt buckles, <clears throat> you won't find uh, a whole lot of them that are, are precious metals. But uh, the collectible ones have been very good to me on eBay. Uh, it's a very surprising uh, thing, and, and I didn't even know that there were serious collectors out there of uh, belt buckles. Uh, you might look at some uh, belt buckles uh, that I recently sold on eBay that were uh, I did a rod uh, the dog sled races. Uh, those did quite well and there was also a couple uh, gas station uh, promotional uh, premiums that were in there as well. So various belt buckles uh, that can be picked for, you know, next to nothing, can be accumulated and then later sold in in collections and groups on eBay or through other methods, and and you really do well on those. So I would highly recommend that that you buy all kinds of uh, belt buckles and accumulate them. Um, you know, a, a set of eyeglasses where the rim goes all the way around the glass is, is much more valuable as far as weight than uh, than the ones where the, the lens has no frame around it. Uh, you will find some of these that are gold. Uh, we may do some informational vids on those later, but uh, for the most part uh, probably 48 to uh, 49 times out of 50 uh, you're going to be talking gold filled and, and not a, uh, a solid alloy gold uh, although it does happen and they are normally marked uh, the marking on eyeglasses is, is normally right here on the ear wire uh, it can be here in the center as well lots of times they're marked both places uh, Standardly old eyeglasses, you would be talking about uh, a one tenth, twelve carat gold filled. In later years, they started doing uh, one twentieth, a ten carat item uh, to pick. Um, you can always pick them up very cheap, and, and if they're old enough spectacles, uh, they do have a collector value on eBay, and, and you'd be very uh, pleased with, with selling groups of those as well, and not only mention the uh, gold value on these, uh, I'm not going to give you an estimation right now, but uh, 